Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in the past, I've covered how to set up inline up converters, which extend the frequency coverage of standard software defined radio receivers. Now, normally those cover from 25 megahertz and upwards. In this video, I'm going to show you a high quality up converter called the Spyverter, which is designed and manufactured by AirSpy, which is the same company that brings us the software SDR Sharp and also brings us a range of quality SDR receivers like the AirSpy Mini, AirSpy R2 and the HF Plus Discovery. Now the AirSpy Mini and the AirSpy R2 does not natively support receiving below 25 megahertz. And as you know, there is a huge amount of activity on the lower frequencies. Anything ranging from ham radio transmissions to maritime distress communications, commercial radio, and a whole host of other interesting analog and digital transmissions. Now, before I show you how to set this up in SDR Sharp, let's go through some of the specifications. And please note, some of these specifications are quite unique to the AirSpy Spyverter. So first off, the Spyverter uses a switch mode double balance mixer that translates the entire HF spectrum to the VHF band between 120 and 180 megahertz. This then allows a reception from one kilohertz all the way up to 60 megahertz. So the IF frequency is 120 megahertz, which is slightly different from the normal 125 megahertz IF that we've seen in other up converters. Now the Spyverter itself can be powered from an STR bias T output, which is normally between 4.2 and 5.5 volts. However, if you're using it with an STR receiver that doesn't provide bias T, there is also a USB socket on the Spyverter so that it can be powered via USB. So let's get this connected and then we'll go through how to set up the software. So first off, we have my NFED half wave antenna coming there in on the left. This then plugs directly into the Spyverter. The Spyverter then connects directly to the SDR receiver. Now make sure you connect the Spyverter the correct way round, especially if you're going to be providing bias T from your SDR. In this case, the side of the Spyverter which has the USB socket is the side which connects to the SDR receiver. Here I have my AirSpy Mini connected and then a USB extension cable which plugs into my Windows 10 computer. So let's go ahead and have a look at what we need to set up in SDR Sharp to get this working. So with the SDR receiver plugged in, go ahead and start SDR Sharp. If you have an AirSpy product such as the Mini or the R2, then from the source drop down, select AirSpy. Underneath this, you can then select the AirSpy device by serial number. Select the required sample rate and then tick the tick box that says Spyverter. This will enable the minus 120 megahertz offset and I'll also turn on the bias T. Click the play button on the top left and then you're good to go. You can now receive from 1 kilohertz all the way up to 60 megahertz. Now, if you're using another type of SDR receiver that is not made by AirSpy, such as a generic RTL SDR, then you need to follow these steps instead of the ones previously mentioned. So with your SDR receiver plugged in and SDR Sharp running, select the source drop down and select RTL SDR USB. If you go ahead and press the play button, you'll notice that the frequencies are not quite right. Now this is because we have to manually set an offset of minus 120 megahertz by ticking the shift tick box and making sure it says minus 120 megahertz in the box next to it. Another thing to mention is that if you're using an RTL SDR.com version 3 RTL stick, then you will need to enable the bias T so that the Spyverter can be powered from the SDR receiver. Simply head over to this website, I'll leave a link down in the description below, download the btdriver.zip and then uncompress it. Once uncompressed, take a look inside the folder to find the file titled bias-t-on.bat. Now before you run this, make sure that your SDR software is not running, but your SDR stick is connected to the computer. Double click this file and it will set the RTL SDR dongle so that its bias-t power is enabled. You can then return to SDR Sharp and click the play button. So you'll now be able to browse between 1 kilohertz and all the way up to 60 megahertz. So one thing to point out, some SDR receivers like the Nuelec models have an always on bias T, which means you don't need to run any extra software or tick any boxes. So it may be worth checking the specification of your SDR receiver to make sure that it does have bias T before we start plugging things in. 
Now, if you're not able to enable the BIOS T, you can always use remote power by use of a USB cable plugged into the Spyverter, as mentioned before. So let's go ahead and take a listen around the bands. Now, for this example, I'm going to be using the Air Spy with the Spyverter. There's also lightning from the top of the tower, and I read an article about this uh, years ago. And throughout millennia, the term creation has been sort of distorted that there really was a creator, but the, the, the initial creation was not here. Okay, um, I'm just going to collect my call sign, and my suffix is Ocean Florida Queen. Oscar at Foxtrot at Quebec, Milan. Okay, many thanks indeed. And uh, 73 and back to you there, Ferry, over. Okay, AMX 990, I AMX 2000. AMX 2000, wenn ja, aber die Spur echt super gut aus. So there we go guys, that's the Spyverter from AirSpy that allows you to listen between 1kHz and 60MHz just by placing it in line with your current SDR receiver. Now if you guys use this product or have another type of upconverter then please let me know about it down in the comment section below. Until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.